Hi, I'm Pastor Alex and I'm here with Erin and we're going to do the pond theme. This pond theme is our new theme for this quarter and so we invite parents and kids to participate. Before we get started, parents, you might want to gather some supplies from the house to help your child participate in the program. Simple things like maybe wooden spoons that could be used for TikTok sticks or a bar of soap that can be used as a sailboat in the part where we sail our boat. Or we also, if you have a stuffed animal that's a duck or if you have any plastic fish, um, some of the times we're going to do things that are hand motions and so of course the kids can do that. Simple things like peekaboo or the hopping, those are all things that kids can do of course. If you have any kind of small ball, maybe a ping pong ball or a golf ball, grab that dad and share that for when we do the turtle eggs. There's other things that you can do. Maybe you might not have a butterfly at home, but you can grab a tissue. These are all things that you can use as part of our program. So why don't we get started? I'm so excited you're joining us and here we go. It's so fun to sing with you. This morning, we're going to talk about the clock. Now, maybe there's a clock on the wall, or maybe your mom and dad have a watch on their wristband, but if not, you can use those wooden spoons, and we can do our TikTok sounds as we sing about the clock. Be quiet and listen. Do you hear the clock? Be quiet. that you like to come to Sabbath school. I like to come to Sabbath school, but we can't come to this building to do Sabbath school, so we're doing it at home. So let's sing about coming to Sabbath school, and it's okay if you're in your PJs. I like to come to Sabbath school. I like to come to Sabbath school. I like to come to Sabbath school. Now, I know that many of you might have birthdays coming up, or maybe you had a birthday this past week and we couldn't sing to you in Sabbath school. So we're going to sing to you now, and if it is your birthday, stand up and show yourself to your whole family as we sing Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. kids at this time we're going to kneel down here in the room where we are and you can kneel where you are at home and we're going to sing our whisper prayer song for those of you who need to learn this is how this song goes we sing whisper a prayer in the morning then we sing whisper a prayer at noon and then we sing whisper a prayer in the evening to keep our hearts in tune. All right, kids, so join us as we sing our prayer song. Whisper a prayer in the morning, whisper a prayer at noon, whisper Jesus, for being with us. Help us to have a wonderful Sabbath. Amen. All right, kids, now it's time for our pond program, and we are going to sing about all the things that Jesus made. One of the things that Jesus made was water, and we have water that's in the sky. We have water that comes down from the sky. We have water in a pond, and we're going to sing about the water in the pond as we start our program.
All right, good job, kids. You can probably sing that over and over again, especially if mom is splashing you. Maybe next Sabbath, you can take the spray bottle and splash mom. One of the things that we know that we see in ponds are fish. I like going to ponds and seeing all the different colors of fish that we can find in there. My kids love seeing the koi. Let's sing about our fishy in the water now. At this time, we're going to sing about something else that we see in the water. Can you think of an animal that you see in the water? There's one that has a little bit of a wiggle waggle when it walks. You guessed it! It's a duck! So let's do our duck song right now as we wiggle waggle splish splash in the water. Awesome! One of the other things that I really love that ducks do is their sounds. They make all kinds of fun sounds, ducks do. I love it. And how many of you can make a duck sound? Would it sound something like this? <laughs> <laughs> so let's sing about the songs and the sounds that ducks make as we sing about the happy little duck. might see floating on the water of a pond might be a sailboat. So if you have a sailboat, great. If not, maybe that bar of soap would work really well as well. Here we go. Rock, rock, sailboat. in ponds might not necessarily always see them in the pond. They try to go deep, deep because they try to hide. Sometimes they even hide inside their house. What animal am I talking about? Can you think of which one it is? You're right, it's the turtle. So let's sing about the peekaboo turtle. And if you don't have a turtle puppet like this, you can go like this on the peekaboo part. All right, join us as we sing peekaboo. job with peekaboo you guys now maybe in your home you might have a little ball maybe that golf ball from dad or maybe even a small little wiffle ball grab that ball it will represent a turtle's egg the turtles lay those eggs and then they hide them in the sand and in the water's edge and then it hatches so let's sing about mrs turtle hiding her eggs Turtles hiding in the squishy mud. Mrs. Turtles hiding in the squishy mud. That's how Jesus helps her hide her eggs. Mrs. Turtles hiding in the squishy mud. 
<laughs> All right, good job. All these animals that hide and they, they move around. The next animal we're gonna talk about, we also find in ponds. This one does something very different than a turtle, however. This one hops, and sometimes it croaks and it makes funny sounds in the night. What animal am I talking about? Yup, you a guessed frog. it. It's the frog. Can you do a good frog impersonation? Ribbit, I, ribbit. I can, I can do one sort of ribbit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, let's try singing our froggy song. You ready? Here we go. Little froggy likes to hop, 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 hop for the pond. Good job. <laughs> I don't know if you kids are having as much fun as Miss Erin and I are, but we are having a blast with all the different animals we see at the pond. One other animal we see at the pond are crickets. Actually, we don't see them as much as we hear them. We hear them, they snap. Now maybe your mom and dad have a spoon, like a metal spoon, two spoons that you can click together as we do our cricket snap sounds during this next song. Sing with us. You guys had a lot of fun with that song as well. Another wonderful animal that we often see floating and flying around a pond is a butterfly. So if perhaps you have a butterfly, this is a perfect time to find that butterfly and have it fly as we sing our butterfly song. But if you don't, Miss Erin is showing us how we can use a tissue even to be like a butterfly as it flitters and flutters around. So let's sing our butterfly song. children. Another butterfly song is one of my favorite. And if you have that tissue, you can float it and flit it around as we sing our last song. This is one of my favorite childhood songs called If I Were a Butterfly. So let's get our butterflies ready and be ready to flit and float as we sing our last song together. children and parents for being with us for this Sabbath school. At this time, we're going to have our closing prayer. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you so much for children. Thank you so much for the beautiful places in the, in the earth that you've made so beautiful like a pond. And thank you for our families. Father, we just ask for a blessing on each family that's watching. Help them to see how good you are and how you take care of us in so many ways. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. Happy Sabbath.